Hello and welcome gorgeous Aquarius to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign or a symbol, a message that really resonates for you. Take notice of that. There is a message from Spirit direct to your situation coming through. You have clicked on this reading for a reason. There is a message in here for you or several. So let's take a look at these cards to begin with. Your first card is the throne. So there is um, an energy of authority. Um, I feel you are stepping up into your own authority in a situation. You will be put in a position of authority. I'm also seeing that for someone as well. The not unsuccessful plan. Something is not going to go according to plan this week and that is okay. It is a divine detour. Go with the flow here and allow the energy to do what it needs to do. December is an important month for you. Um, there's going to be an important event or an important time. There's going to be an important message. Something significant um, is happening in December. Fair man, so we have a masculine energy or a man in your life, dealings, a relationship with a man with blonde, gray or white hair. The rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters, so there is a need to refocus your attention or, or your significant others or your partner's energy needs to be redirected more holistically. The goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So we have an influx of energy. Um, this is a fantastic energy for a wish, a dream or a desire that you have around your material life or your health or your finances or your job. Um, what's manifest in your life. There is an increase, there's an uptick, there is an abundance energy here. And for some, this is going to tie into your spiritual growth or your spiritual path. They could be connected as well, um, an uptick materially and spiritually. So fantastic energy there. We also have spiritual love. So we have a soulmate connection coming through with this card. Now, um, this might be someone new in your life or it could be a current partner. A soulmate doesn't have to be a romantic partner, of course, um, but there is definitely a connection being made or strengthened. Beautiful. Um, I'm also getting the message for someone before I finish with this card. I just received a message that this is someone in spirit. Someone in spirit is sending you love. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Let's see what this deck reveals. So we have the card of rest, which is which is important. You're needing to rest more. Your mind has been racing or you've been stressed mentally or emotionally. This is so important in the week ahead. Perhaps you have been working too hard. It is time to take a nap and get some rest or remove yourself from a situation that's been taxing you uh, mentally, emotionally or physically. Make rest a priority. A new dawn is happening for you a new start. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So we have new experiences with within your life. Um, I feel that this rest, I feel that for someone, these two are connected. You're needing to recuperate, regenerate, um, reflect so that you can bring in to your life this newness. Mm, heal from these experiences that have been negative so you can allow positive new experiences to come in, to flow in. Waves of prosperity, a new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So we have prosperity waiting to come in. Um, yeah, prosperity. This is connected to a 
prayer being answered you kind of put it out there to the universe to God and I'm seeing that spirit's going to to grant this this um this wish um yeah and actually it might come as a surprise um how it comes into your life how it um how it transpires but yeah and that's just an interesting element the spirit wants you to know about that it might come in unexpectedly or in a different way to what you're expecting it will be a surprise so let's see what this deck reveals. These three here I feel are yours. So this is a crystal deck. So let's see what we have. We've got black tourmaline. We've got azurite and clear quartz. So these crystals are very healing and will bring great benefit to you if you wear them or work with them this week. Um, now we have a protective energy, an anxiety, relief, aura cleansing and self-belief. Um, so one or all of these keywords may be needed or it may resonate for you in a particular way this week. Divine guidance, stillness, new connections and astral travel. So we have new connections. I'm being drawn to say that's significant and stillness, which ties into the energy of rest and then new connections. Um, new connections might be to do with this masculine energy here or new connections to do with your material life your health or your wealth or your job but you are being divinely guided so that's coming through so strongly at the moment uh, psychic abilities enhanced intuition mental clarity and magnified energy you've got an immense energy body at the moment um, especially if you are attuned to your intuition or your psychic abilities um, you're going to have mental clarity as well which i feel is important for someone to know if you've been confused about a situation or if something happens this week where you feel confused or bogged down mentally um, with thoughts yeah mental clarity is going to is going to come you will find that clarity and um, you know working with clear quartz is not going to be harmful it's going to be beneficial this week to help with that I feel four cards from this deck let's see what we have here so for someone um, there is going to be an employment change your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. So yes, there's an employment change that has happened, happening at the moment, or will happen for you. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. Let go of any guilt that you hold. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. And learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So if you're holding any guilt at the moment, um, yeah, it's, it's time to release that energy to help you move forward. Um, and forgiveness goes hand in hand if someone has done you wrong I'm also seeing forgiveness for past mistakes for yourself and others as well another person um, that will release you from the shackles unlimited ideas so we have inspiration coming through in abundance this week your mind is one with God's infinite mind therefore you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings all you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Beautiful. And moonlighting. Um, so the moon energy is about a, a female or a feminine energy that you are interacting with on a day to day, uh, in a day to day way. It could be someone you're working with or a family member. Um, but there should be a shift in the energy with this person or the dynamic that's happening. You can start working on your dream career part time or keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So if um, it might resonate on that level for you, if you are looking at changing your job, I mean, we did have the card here of employment change. So that's definitely something that will 
be, um, yeah, will be resonating for someone. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. So the night of Earth, it's time to buckle down and get things done this week. Honor your commitments and you have a guardian angel looking out for you and over you. So just get things done. Chores, day-to-day -day errands, just get them done. Um, this could be relating to your work life as well. Yeah, you're going to have um, positive experiences and, and, and open up to blessings if you just get those things done that need to be done. Now, this is an offering of love. You might be falling in love or there might be a wedding proposal. Something romantic is happening for someone. And the need to balance your emotions as well, because you can see the waves here are, are all rough and bumpy, which means you're kind of riding the waves of emotion at the moment. So needing to balance emotions. And also there may be an invitation to a social event or a social event. An important social event um, is, is happening soon. Good news about financial matters and wanting to do something more challenging perhaps. That might be you. And there might be a new area of study coming into play for you very soon. So learning whether it's formal study or not. There's an energy of learning a new beginning, a new inflow of abundance for you, a promising business venture and important documents or contracts as well. Now with the Ace of Earth, it does mean that you need to put in your need to put in energy and effort. It is going to um, work out for you well, but a lot of energy, time and resources may need to go into something here that will pay off at the end of the day. The Queen of Earth make time for those around you take a sensible approach and deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner this week so just keep that in the back of your mind if any challenges or disruptions happen this week deal with challenges in a kind and understanding way seeds are well planted the seeds you're planting for your future at the moment are going to blossom in your future a temporary pause in action may happen this week. Um, an unnecessary worry. So yeah, you might be worrying about something, but it is unnecessary. Spirit has got this. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you can think of that question now. So that's a yes. So you can check in with your intuition, see if this resonates for you or not. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.